Welcome, Taurus, to your oracle reading for the second week of July. And this week, you have the squirrel as your medicine card. And squirrel is a card of preparation. It's a card that squirrel always is getting prepared for the winter. As everybody knows, it gathers nuts and seeds and everything and plants it into a tree and gathers things up for the next season for winter. Squirrel is always prepared for what comes next. So this week you're preparing for something. You're preparing for a new phase in your life. Something new is going to be coming in. And for you, at your mineral companion, I pulled Q Sarah stone. Now this is a stone with pink and blue opal. So it's a heart and throat chakra stone. And it means what will be. And so this week is a week of acceptance, accepting things. And tying into that theme of acceptance is the sorcerer card reversed. And the sorcerer card represents radi radical self-acceptance. So this is a week where you are just going to, to prepare for the next phase of your life. You are going to radically accept yourself, which means... You're not going to hide anything. It's a bit of shadow work. A great journaling practice is to write down all the things that you love about yourself and all the things that you don't really love about yourself. Your men correlate the two. See how the two either match up or how they cancel themselves out. That can help you this week to help radically accept yourself. All of us are flawed individuals, but we are all perfectly imperfect at the same time. We all make mistakes, but we all have our blessings and our gifts to give to the world. Each person is unique. And so this is a week where you're preparing for a new phase of your life by summarizing where you've already been, by realizing and accepting how you've already conducted your life and where you're going next is a blank sheet of paper. And I have as your clarifying card, Lizguna, Lizguna, I might be saying that right, but she is uh, frog medicine. And reversed, she means that you're bored. So right now, at this point in time in your life, you are preparing for a new phase in life. You're ready for it, or you think you're ready for it, but the truth is that you're bored. So frog medicine is a cleansing and releasing medicine, and so the skuna is basically saying that you need to let go in order to let in the new. So this is a prepar preparation phase. This is a phase where you accept what has happened, and you're preparing for a new beginning, and this is a clearing out of the old energy. So let what has happened in the past, the Cusera stone, let it be, and let's move, get ready to move into the future. Unfortunately, we're not moving into the future this week, we're just preparing for the future this week. So hopefully your preparations go well, and that's all I have for you this week. Bye for now.